Parents and students in Dorchester School District 2 gathering tonight during a school board meeting showing their support for former Fort Dorchester High School football coach and athletic director Steve LaPrade, who resigned from both positions last week. News 2's Kevon Dupree joins us live in the studio with more information. Kevon, you were in Somerville for that meeting tonight and had a chance to speak with community members. Um, what was the turnout like? Well, Brendan Keller, and there were a lot of support for the longtime Fort Dorchester head coach and athletic director during Monday's meeting. LaPrat has coached at Fort Dorchester High School for 20 years, and he led the Patriots to the state championship game just last month which was a reason why many people were shocked when he resigned last week. We cannot afford to lose members of our community or of our schools that have so much of a far-reaching impact on these kids. Fort Dorchester parents and students voicing their opinions about the surprising resignation of head football coach Steve LaPrad. I speak not only for myself, but for my child. Bring back our coach to the certain school where he belongs. His name is the being and representation of our hashtag, and we stand up for him. LaPrat resigned last Wednesday after a video surfaced of him using profane language amongst his players. However, community members say it wasn't a cause for him to resign. If one were to take a judicious and perspicacious analysis of the video, there was a speech of motivation loyalty and life lessons. If someone is a little hurt over some profanity or over certain things that may happen between schools, let me tell you, that won't stop in high school. And though LaPrade has won more than 170 games, including a state championship in his 20-year career, former players say he is much more than just a coach. He has probably over hundreds and sons, thousands of, uh, of sons. He takes everybody under his wing. From the food, travel, anything. If you need it, even a phone call away. Now, a petition has been started to bring back Coach LaPrade and has garnered more than 4,600 signatures. Reporting in studio, I'm Kevon Dupree. Count on two.